we've got some ice on the ground. It's probably, I'm guessing, 40 degrees. And yesterday was so pretty. It was a white, snowy day. Over there, it was really pretty. It was my birthday yesterday, and I absolutely just loved every minute of it, even though I was at home with my son and he wasn't feeling well. I still I still enjoyed watching the snow outside and now I'm getting some fresh air this morning, getting my steps in, wearing my rocking vest, which I mistakenly said is 16 pounds and like my previous videos, it's actually 12. But nonetheless, it's, it's uh, really nice for like upping the intensity of my walks. Just finished my workout, went for my walk, and now finally getting ready. Um, I am not feeling too hot. Um, my husband's sick, my son is sick, and now I'm finally getting something. It, uh, it's kind of like a sore throat, I guess. <clears throat> and I was having a lot of congestion in the middle of the night, so I'm just praying that it doesn't get worse. I took some elderberry this morning and I'm going to take some zinc and also like gargle with salt water and hopefully that kicks it. But my son is, is struggling. He's getting better. It's just a slow, slow progress. And I just hope that I don't get like really, really sick because that would not be good. I hear him right now. I think he's slowly starting to wake up. I'm going to rush to get ready. This is when I always feel like I don't have enough time in the morning. I always feel like I need to wake up earlier. I need to get up like at least an hour and a half before he wakes up so I can get everything that I need to get done. And that is like my me time, which is like so, so important. And anytime I don't get my workout in or my morning routine is off. I just notice it big time with like my mood and my energy. So it's just kind of like my, my me time where I get to decompress. It's kind of like my, my morning routine, my workouts are like my form of meditation, honestly. I don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup today, so this is kind of my minimal routine here. I'm just gonna wear a little bit of concealer and keep it very, very basic and simple because I just don't feel like wearing a ton of makeup. I also feel like I'm kind of not breaking out, but I'm getting these like really tiny bumps on my forehead, so I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if it's, I'm having like, I was trying on, I was trying, like I was testing out the Ilia foundation. I think it was like a tinted, tinted um, sunscreen. And that's supposed to be a clean product. And I don't know if that kind of broke me out or if it was something else. I don't feel like wearing any foundation today. So I'm just gonna wear a little bit of powder. This is the Tower 28. You guys saw this one in my previous video. I got the um, shade Balboa Banana. I think this is more like a setting powder. I don't think this is supposed to give any coverage. And I like the fact that it's um, all clean and natural ingredients. I don't know, if, actually, I don't know if they're natural ingredients, but they're clean ingredients and they're not gonna be toxic for your skin. I did try out the um, Essence. This is the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I did test this out yesterday. I do like it, although I did notice some transfer on my under eye. Uh oh. Mr. is awake. Let me see if my husband can get him. Um, so we're going to try this out again. 
We're gonna do this mascara today. And are you guys the same way? Like you moms out there, what do you do? Do you work out when your kids are in school? Do you work out in the morning before they wake up? Like what is your routine like? Because when my son drops his nap, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna have to work out like before he wakes up, which is what I'm currently doing, but I just feel like I barely have enough time in the morning to get everything done. Like he just woke up right now. It is, I think it's 7, 725, 7.30. And I set my alarm for 5.45. So I feel like sometimes I need to set my alarm for earlier and just get out of bed like right as soon as my alarm goes off because I do snooze. I mean, this mascara is like really good. I just wish that it didn't transfer. This is the minimal lip look. Moisturizing cream. Should we try this out? Just got this at the salon. It's the Oribe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. Do I just put this at the ends? I'm not even reading the directions. It smells good. I normally don't ever use hair products, so. <clears throat> and I try and stay away from fragrance, so this is probably a big no no for me at least. Smells really good though. Wow, I love the smell. Mm. Here we go. Here's some deer for you. Good morning. They're so cute. Just walking up casually above the street. <laughs> Sophie doesn't know what to do with herself. She wants to chase after them. Some new construction over there. All right, here we go. Good morning. Vest is on. We're out for our morning walk. Sun's not out yet, but I just finished my workout. And I'm trying to wake up a little earlier because I really cherish like my morning walks. So, and I also do cherish my workouts too, but these walks are like, I just love coming outside and getting that fresh air and getting that sunlight. So I woke up at 5.30 
I think I woke up at like 5.30, but then like actually got, got out of bed at 5.40ish. Made my matcha, made my protein shake, did, did that whole thing. And then didn't actually like step foot in the gym until I think it was like 6. So I started my workout at 6. So I then finished my workout at around 6.42-ish, 6.45. So now I'm out walking and uh, yeah, going to get this day started. Off to a good start here, getting my steps in. Hopefully you guys are doing the same. And I'm out of breath because I'm going up, up the hill and I'm wearing this weighted vest. I just love looking at these houses. That one house has its lights on and just like some really, really pretty houses here. And we get to see a lot of deer, which is fun. The other time I went for a walk, it was in the afternoon. I literally saw a pack of 20 deer. They had their sisters, they, their aunts, their cousins, moms, dads, everyone with them. It was, it was a lot. And I got pretty close. But anyway, good morning. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Are you done? Yay! Celebrate!
Oh, we're waking her up from her nap. Is it? Snowing. We just went to the cutest little farm shop. And they've got their trees out. They're gonna set up probably very soon and it's snowing. Outfit for dinner tonight. Broccoli is prepped for the week. Ground beef is done. It's two pounds. I've got chicken going in the oven and I've also made a little chicken rice broccoli casserole for my son. But that is the meal prep for today and it is 10 a.m. So I'm feeling, feeling productive this morning. Hope you guys enjoyed this week in the life. Um, it's just random clips of this week and it's been a really good kind of productive week although I was feeling a little bit under the weather thankfully my son and my husband are on the up and up which is good we're feeling good and it is just a really beautiful kind of crisp chilly day and we're listening to some Christmas music and we've got our tree. We're going to do some more decorating. My husband's at Costco and I told him to pick up some poinsettias because the poinsettias there are big, fluffy, amazing, and they last a long time. So I told him to pick up some of those from the store. I picked up this ginger shot from Trader Joe's that I'm going to take right now. Let's just do it right now together. Um, but it's uh, coconut water, ginger, lemon juices, and cayenne pepper. And I took this, um, I took this like in the beginning, beginning of the week when I felt like I was getting a sore throat and I think this worked. I think it was this with a combination of elderberry that really did the trick and I don't have a sore throat anymore. Um, but I just have a little bit of like nasal drainage, but this stuff is spicy. Cheers. Mmm, that's good though. Ginger is spicy and it's got cayenne pepper. Ooh. All right, guys, that's 
it for today's vlog and I will see you in my next one. Hope you're doing well and staying healthy. And again, thanks for watching. Bye.